Right then, here we are, it's early November and today we're talking about condensation, about relative humidity, vapour pressure and the relationship between those and why houses get damp and mouldy. Here's a property um, we've been tasked to look at. We've already established that uh, this property suffers from condensation which is excessive and causes mould growth problems. Um, we're scheduled to install a positive input ventilation system in the loft um, and the reason for that is because the layout of the property is such that it's very difficult to naturally ventilate it. It's a tenanted property and the landlord needs a solution to the mould growth problems. Um, what we're going to do is monitor it and so I'll just show you how we're going to do that. First of all, uh, let's enter the property. Here we go. and we've got one data logger already set up and functioning here in the back bedroom. If you look at the ceiling there you can see we've got some mould growth problems. Um, that's really been the catalyst in this property. There's a lot of mould growth in cupboards and things but we're not going to show you that. But if we just look down in the corner here there's the data logger which is functioning at the moment. So we'll just uh, put the data logger back on the floor and we're going to leave that for a week or so until we install our positive input ventilator and then we'll be able to monitor any differences that occur once that ventilator is up and running. Now in order to really measure how successful we are we need a control. So what I've done is I've installed another data logger outside. We'll just go out and have a look at that. Uh, this is important because the vapour pressure outside a property is well really, almost all practical purposes all of the time is going to be lower than the vapour pressure inside the property. Um, but we want to know the difference so that we can look at the British Standard and see just whether this property is a moist occupancy and whether it improves after we get things going. So here's another data logger. We've placed that outside. I'll just press the button. That's now logging. Place that on the brick. Give it a bit of shelter. And I've just used a compass here which uh, to make sure we're not placing this where it's going to end up in full sun which would ruin things a little bit because all that data logger is doing is hourly measuring the air temperature and the relative humidity. It's also giving us calculating, calculating a dew point for us but by using a psychrometric chart after we collect our data we'll be able to see what this property is really like when it comes to the difference between the vapour pressure inside and outside and also what the positive input ventilator practically does to change things. So it'll be an interesting experiment and uh, I'm looking forward to collecting the data in a couple of weeks time.